Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, San and Nastaki. And in this video, we will discuss about port channel in Cisco SAN switch. So we will discuss what is port channel, what are the types of port channel, what are the modes of port channel, and in last, we will see how to configure port channel in CLI mode. So in specific term, we will see how we can create a F port channel between a core switch and a NPV switch. Before proceeding further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately. First, let's discuss what is port channel. So port channel is basically a Cisco SAN switch terminology. Other vendors call it as a different names. And port channel is a logical aggregation of individual FC ports, which increase total bandwidth, provides load balancing and link redundancy. So suppose we have a four ports in a switch. And uh, if we do the logical aggregation of those four ports, then the bandwidth will increase. It means if the single port is 8 Gbps, then the total aggregations will become 32 Gbps. It also provides load balancing because the whatever load is coming to the port, it will share between those four ports. And uh, it has also link redundancy. If one link or the one port goes down, other three links are there to take care of the traffic. So port channel can connect interface across switching module within single switch. It means we can select the ports from different modules from a same switch. We cannot select ports from two different switch to create a port channel. So this is a very simple diagram for a port channel explanation. So we have two switch, switch one and switch two. We have three port channels, port channel A, port channel B and port channel C. So port channel A is combination of two ports within same modules. And these two ports from switch one is connected to switch two. And from switch two also, the ports has been selected from same module. In case of port channel B, the ports has been selected from two different modules. And in case of uh, port channel C, there are three ports. Two ports are selected from same modules, but uh, the third port has been selected from a different module. But in case of switch two, all these three ports has been selected from the same module. So these are the various combinations of selecting the ports for a port channel. Now let's discuss what are the types of port channel. So basically types of port channel can be categorized by the connectivity of the two end device. So first uh, port channel is E port channel. So these are the logical combination of multiple E ports, which connects two SAN switches for ISL connectivity. If we are creating port channels in two switches and uh, connecting them to each other, then it will be called as E port channel. Similarly, F port channel. So logical combination of multiple F ports, which connects from one switch to NPV switch or FI interconnect. So if we have a core switch and if we want to connect that to a NPV switch, then we'll have to configure F port channel. Also in case of FI interconnect, we'll have to use F port channel. So FI interconnect is basically used for connectivity from the Cisco UCS blades to your core SAN switch. So FI interconnect is the intermediate uh, hardware between the UCS modules and the your core SAN switch. So if trunking is enabled, then E port and F port channel becomes TE and PF port channel. So trunking is nothing but a feature in Cisco where uh, the traffic can flow across vSAN. So if you enable a trunking in E port, then that E port is capable of accepting traffic from multiple vSAN. Now modes of port channel. So, so basically there are two types of port channel mode on and active. The port channel mode on is default, so we don't have to do anything. But active, we must explicitly configure this mode. So in case of on, need to disable port while adding or modifying members to a port channel. But in case of active, when we add or modify ports, channel automatically recovers. So we don't have to manually disable or enable the port channel members if we have configured the port channel with active mode. Port channel mode on is not recommended 
but active port channel mode is recommended so port channel mode on only supports e port channel but uh, active port channel mode supports both f and e port channel so based on this difference you can select which mode you should use for your port channel configuration so compatibility of uh, port channel so before creating a port channel we have to make sure few things so first thing is that port channel can be across modules not switch so the ports can be from same switch but it can be from a different modules but the ports cannot be from a two different switches so prior to any logical configuration you have to have the physical connectivity between the two devices configuration of port and port channel must be same so whatever configuration the individual port has same type of configuration must be there for the port channel as well so this will be very much clear when we will actually see the commands to create a port channel so below configuration must be same for the individual ports and the port channel so the first is speed the speed should be equal between the individual port configuration and the port channel as well so the mode should be different those are uh, on or active rate mode rate mode is basically shared or dedicated that also you need to be sure that it's same for the individual port and the port channel so the port vision should be same trunking mode whether the trunking is enabled or not if it is enabled then it should be enabled for both individual port and the port channel and allow vsan list so now let's see how to configure a f port channel so in the previous slides i discussed what is f port channel so basically the f port channel happens between a core switch and a npv switch instead of npv switch if you are using a fi interconnect for ucs connectivity in that case as well you will have to configure f port channel so first step is that enable f port trunking and channel links protocols on the mds core switch so these commands will be executed on the core switch first so features f port channel trunk this command will enable the port trunking and the channeling protocols the second thing we have to enable npiv on mds core switch so i have already made a video on npiv so i will give a link in top of this video you can click on that link and you can explore more about npiv so feature npiv is the command to enable npiv so one thing you should have noticed that we are under the config terminal so for that first you have to execute config space terminal command and once you see this type of uh, terminal then you can execute this command to enable port channel links and npiv features the third step is create the port channel on the mds core switch so basically we will create a port channel first and then we will add the individual ports or the interface inside that port channel so the port channel will also be created inside the config terminal so interface port hyphen channel 1 so this command will create a port channel having a number 1 so if you want to create a port channel other than 1 then you just have to specify different number here so interface port channel 2 then it will create a port channel with name 2 the second thing we have to set the switch port mode in case of app port channel we'll have to specify it as app if you specify e here then the port channel can be used for e port channeling and then we have to set the channel mode active because app port channel only supports while the channel mode is active in case of on app port channel cannot be configured then we'll have to disable the trunk mode if you want to enable the trunking mode on then instead of off you should give on here then switch port rate mode is shared so if you want to have it as dedicated then instead of shared you should use dedicated and then we'll have to exit it so basically these commands is used to create a port channel now next step is to add interface to the port channel so step 4 would be configure the port channel member interfaces on the port switch so 
first we have to select what are the interface that we are going to add inside the port channel the first command that is interface fc2 slash 1 by 3 this indicates that we have selected the module 2 and within module 2 we have selected the port 1 2 and 3 to add into the port channel once you execute this command you will be entered into the interface mode and uh, shut is the command to disable all the ports so once you disable the port again we have to set the mode as f because the port channel mode is also f in case of uh, e port channeling you'll have to mention e here switch port trunk mode is off and the switch port speed 4000 so this can be auto as well so recommended is auto so that the auto negotiation will happen between the devices and the proper speed will be set in order to avoid any performance issue so rate mode is shared it can be dedicated if you select it and then channel group one so this command is basically is used to add all these interfaces inside the port channel one so till now we have a uh, then all the required things that needs to be done in our core switch like creating the port channel and adding interfaces to that port channel now we'll have to come to the edge switch which is a npv switch so in npv switch first of all we have to create a port channel and this is the command that is interface port channel 1 so this command will create a port channel in npv switch so in Core switch, the number we have given one, so same we have to give it here as well. Switch port mode should be set as NP. Switch port rate mode should be shared. So, in order to see the port channel details, you can execute command show port channel database and it will list out all the port channels that has been configured on this switch. Now, the step six is configure the port channel member interface on the NPV switch. So from the edge switch or the npv switch we have selected the interface fc2 slash 1 by 3 so the module is uh, 2 and within that module the ports 1 2 3 will be added in the port channel and shut is the command to disable all the ports then switch port mode is set as np switch port speed is uh, set as 4000 and rate mode is shared and then channel hyphen group 1 so this command again it will add all these ports inside the channel group or port channel whose name is one and then no shut it will bring up the interfaces and the ports will be up now the last step is step seven and in this steps we have to disable and uh, enable all the ports that we have used to create the port channel from the core switch and from the edge switch so once you do this the port channel will be up and the communication will start happening that's all for this video thank you for watching if you have any doubt or any extra knowledge to share on this topic then please comment in comment section and if you have liked this video then definitely share it to your colleagues and once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for uh, get notification about more such videos from my channel.